Okay. Back with you. Take two. Philosopher. Actually, I'm a sociologist. But again, I'm right behind this face here on this webcam, okay? So, check it out. Listen very carefully. In addition to the suggestions I made on the previous recording with Lincoln's head, these are some other things I've thought about that I would do if I were the president, and I might as well go ahead and make it known right now. Damn it, I'm running for president in 2016, so get ready. Whoever wants to run against me. That's right. So, this is kind of like my own platform that I'm talking about because it won't happen under the Obama administration. It's just not likely because stuff takes too long to get done and I'm kind of slow myself even when it comes to certain things. Essentially, it comes with living style, how long one takes to do something. Depends on how motivated one is. Mr. Obama, you're pretty motivated. That's obvious based on your philosophies. Your philosophies are pretty much outlined in your book. So, it was a good idea to pass a law to take care of individuals who currently just go to the emergency room anyway and uh, I guess I should turn that off because that's not professional at all <laughs> a lot of that's going on in this current society people are distracted with all these techniques <clears throat> which brings me to the point that a lot of people won't be able to sign up for a bomber I do beg your pardon affordable care act because they don't know how to use computers. I have been training now for eight, seven weeks, close to eight weeks. And the trainees that I've been teaching are not that different than any other demographic of trainee. Therefore, I felt as though they could in fact Register illig illig uh, register undocumented immigrants. See how that word wants to stick in my mind even. I apologize. That's another thing. Never apologize, Mr. Obama, to the entire country. Apologize the same way one is told to counsel. Do it behind closed doors. You didn't do nothing wrong. I mean, as far as I can tell, every time you do something right, you don't get credit. But, oh boy, just look like you're sh shitting the country away. I'll say it. And everybody wants to get all up in arms like, oh, it's not Obamacare. That's an oxymoron. But that way it gets drugged through the coals more because it's attached to you. The guy that wants to see men of all colors and races have their colons checked. Like Pooper Man. You know, like Pooper Man did. Look there. This guy. It's a polyp. It's a plane. No, it's Pooper Man. <laughs> Pooper Man. There we go. <laughs> the following is a public service announcement from Pooper Man. Pooper Man, are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, you know, we don't matter here. We can go to Andy. We can go to Andy. It don't matter. We can just go to go to him. Go to him. Thank you, Pooper Man. We'll roll the film now. Dr. Valentino to the OR, please. I'm moving my head now. This thing here, I'm just trying to get cracking. Feel me? Watch it. Look at that. That's me. Well, sort of me. And sort of him, too. I can't really tell because hey, uh, things ain't always what they seem. But I do know that the have and have nots are dividing. And a lot of have nots don't even have basic internet connection <laughs> with the uh, current phones that they own 
definitely don't have desktops or notebooks or tablets or uh, um, any of those items. Tablet, uh, Chromebook. They don't have even a Chromebook, which is about 300 bucks. So you have to take the people to the mountain since the people won't come to the mountain. You have to take the mountain to the people, I should have said. So have the people come to where they can sign up for Obamacare. You can decide on how you want to do it. I've thought about using Social Security Office to have some people register them up until 10 p.m. or from 4 to 10 p.m. or from 4 to 9 at the regular Social Security um, hours, 3.45 to 8.45 is what I would have a Social Security office assist the other sites that I would use to register people, i.e. places where my data would not be in jeopardy and places where I could in fact record who signed up and who didn't because everybody that didn't sign up, I would in fact run a new bill for getting national federal life insurance on all the people who don't sign up which is why I would see running them through the social security office would, would be a really good idea in addition to pulling the website down relaunching it after disenrolling everyone relaunching it again in March because you also bothered a lot of people's Christmas money that they won't be able to use unless they flip ACA off. Hello, it is still I, Musa, November 21st. I'll be right back on a different tape.